Uh, you might be considering selling your home this fall. If so, you want to send the right message to a potential buyer. Amber Diaz with Show Homes of Folsom Lake joins us with the do's and don'ts of fall staging. Good morning, Amber. Good morning. How are you? Hi, we're doing well. So you're in front of a home there that you guys are staging for sale. Uh, this home uh, has gone under a massive transformation. Now, it's a beautiful home uh, from the outside, but we want to give folks first an idea of what this house looked like uh, before you guys took over. Uh, now, let me ask you, did you encourage the seller to do the remodeling or had that already happened by the time you guys got involved? We were lucky enough to work with an amazing husband and wife set of clients, uh, Whiz Bang Homes and Design Works, and they already had this vision. So I just got to kind of pick it up and do the <laughs> wow. inside work on, on the furniture. Um, this is this is really it's, amazing. I'm I'm sure I can imagine because as we look at these photos, this home was incredibly dated. It looks like it was stuck in the 70s. Uh, we saw the avocado green stove sticking out into the kitchen, a, a green bathtub, uh, and everything. Uh, how far does a remodel go? Let's start there with selling a home that's uh, pretty dated like that. Well, I think uh, they made the right choices. I hear so many of the neighbors saying, I remember when this was the old man from the hardware store's house. Um, it was built in the 40s and really hadn't been touched except for the foil wallpaper that you see in the, uh, the before <laughs> photos. So it really went through a transformation where they honored the mid-century history of the yeah. home, but they really updated it in a sophisticated way. It's absolutely so I think, I think they made all the right moves. Absolutely. It's Curb gorgeous. Curb appeal is amazing yes. here. Yes. In fact, we want to yeah. give, uh, before we show the inside of it here coming up uh, next hour, we give people some tips on how to stage your home for the upcoming fall season. And that's the first thing on your list is don't neglect the curb appeal. The first impressions really count. Why? Right, and so let's kind of talk about these plants up here. Um, they're monochromatic, but they are amazing. They go with the architecture of the home, but they're just classy, simple, and they make it look welcoming from the very beginning. Definitely. And then another um, feature is make sure you've got some amazing light fixtures. I mean, this is almost a sculpture in itself, but it's functional. So it's just little things like that that will make your home stand out um, when buyers are looking at 10 or 20 of them in right. the course of a weekend. Also, what I notice about the, the rock wall there, too, that goes to your next point, which is to keep a fairly neutral color palette. Right, but you can see it picks up some gray hues, and there's a little bit of a sheen and a sparkle to it, which is different than what we see. We're used to the stacked stone, so it's a great element. And then the door is a fabulous black, which I recommend on most houses that are a neutral palette. And then they've got some really nice hardware on it. So All it's right. just little things like that that make people go, let's go inside and see what's what's in there. Well, like they say, you know, you never get a, a second chance to make a first impression. People form an opinion about how well you've maintained the home as soon as they uh, drive up. We've got more tips that we'll share with you next hour about what to do inside the home and also why you don't want to decorate for the holidays before you take your staging photos uh, and for your uh, for your buyers why they're not interested in that kind of thing. Amber, we'll check back with you next hour. We can't wait to see how you've set it up inside, especially what it looks like after that remodel. So we'll see you in the 8 o'clock hour. Great. See you then. All right. We'll see you then. All right, guys. I can't wait to get the get the look at the inside mm -hmm. of that right? place. It was so dated. Yeah. Right. To start inside with. Inside there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, light, that avocado stove. Oh, I know. Oh. This is beautiful. Can't wait. Thanks, Marianne. Hey, new at eight.